Hello, uh, this is a, a video in part about this little um, antique ukulele that I fixed up. Um, this is a uh, 1950s or thereabouts era um, cons uh, conservatory quality is the name of the brand name which is how I kind of uh, in part how I uh, figured out how old it might be and uh, when I first got it it didn't have it had no hardware it didn't have a bridge it didn't have tuners although I than that it seemed okay you know it had some issues some some, some of the fret frets were trying to come out and such but um, and some of you may remember this uke from the video I did I think back in February where I thought I had it, had it all fixed and I was saying well everything's fine now but <clears throat> as it turns out the um, bridge that I put on it ended up getting cracked um, and, and it, it was a bridge that was that I had that was of the same time period as this guy and uh, unfortunately the first time I put it on there it got on a little crooked so I had to take it off and glue it back on and somewhere in all that process um, it got cracked and I didn't notice that at first I guess that the string tension after a week or two it started buzzing and I went to take it off again and I was like oh great it's it's ruined. Uh, I waited and tried to find another period correct bridge for this thing, but they just don't don't have them come up. It's hard to find them um, unless you want to buy an entire ukulele of that period and cannibalize it, but that seems to would seem to uh, defeat the purpose so I got this one which is all right it's got the slotted the uh, the slots here which is what you would have had unfortunately I couldn't find anything that was like solid wood so I had to put a bone saddle in here and um, I mean it sounds all right So it sounds all right, and uh, it's a pretty little thing. Um, uh, but this video is also uh, about a song I wrote about this um, little ukulele and its former owner, Marie. And the reason I know someone named Marie owned it was that she thoughtfully carved her name and her address on the back of the headstock now I, I don't think you're gonna be able to see that you can see that a little bit I'll put a, up a picture but uh, yeah so I guess when you know when you own a ukulele you're not thinking that at some future point it will be considered a uh, antique instrument so you just go ahead and carve your name in there anywho uh so when i discovered that um after getting this uh buying this guy i decided to write a song about the relationship between this ukulele and marie and that's what this next song is about and the song is called marie i will remember
was such a happy day when you took me home. and the dust dug out for the garage sale and sold for a bargain I trust I was stripped of my hardware left a mere shell of myself
put your name on my neck must have meant something to you he carved your name on my neck 